What's up YouTube? Sky, that one guy here, and today we have a really exciting collection video. Uh, I bought this collection from a friend locally, and uh, it's one of the better collections that I've bought in recently, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. I know I've been doing a, a, quite a few collection videos lately, but uh, they keep coming in and I feel like they're worth showing, so I hope you guys uh, still enjoy it. Anyways, I'm doing another round of the one free booster pack giveaway, so to enter this giveaway, just like this video leave a comment and subscribe and if you do those three things you will be entered um, it is for the US only for now uh, might change that in the near future but um, and yeah the so I'll choose at least one winner from this video that winner can choose any of these packs and uh, I'll get him or her that one pack shipped out very soon so pretty easy to enter and uh, enough about that so let's get right into it so this is the collection very very crazy uh lots of pretty relevant meta stuff so start off the video with four fantastical dragon phantasmes um they're all four first edition and uh for those of you who don't know this is about a hundred dollar card uh the first editions do sometimes push uh, about 110 to 115 dollars sometimes but uh just to be safe we'll say it's about a hundred dollar card so four of those that was definitely a huge highlight so we will set those just over there. Actually, let's see, we'll do them down here, sorry. All right, so, oh, bumped the camera. Next is Pot of Extravagance. We have quite a few of these bad boys, and uh, this is about a $70 card. It's It goes up and down a little bit, but uh used to be a solid $40 to $50 card, and it recently shot up maybe a week or two ago, and uh, it's been holding pretty steady since then, so. How many pots do we have? Well, quite a few. So, there's three, six, and nine. Nine pot of extravagances. Crazy, crazy amount of pot of extravagances. Um, yeah, definitely the most I've owned at once. So, huge pile of those. Again, those are about $70, maybe $75 each. Um, so already just between those ton of money on the table Next we have some ghost rares. So we have Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend and Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. So two first edition ghost rares in mint condition and They both look really really good. So definitely excited about those Then we have three wave motion cannons this uh, used to be like a $20 to $25 card, but recently got a buyout because of some uh, meta hype, some crazy shenanigans. And uh, now this card pushes around $75 to $100 depending on its condition. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is from Champion Pack 5, the Super Rare. And Champion Pack 5 did have a problem where some of their cards just had a uh, kind of a pro improper cut, maybe. Um, and the bottoms just had some damage on them, so unfortunately we did get those. I have seen that before in Champion Pack cards, where they just don't cut it properly and it looks like it's kind of played. But uh, the rest of the card is flawless, so still still definitely a very beautiful card with a very high price tag. So three of those, and again those are about $75 to $100 um, currently at the time of recording this video. So much cards on the table, my camera doesn't know what to focus on. Okay, next stack. Still got tons of crazy expensive, exciting cards to share. So, Trap Tricks. This card used to be only like 15, 20 bucks um, not too long ago. And then recently it got a buyout and shot up to like 40 to $45. So, definitely an expensive card. And uh, we have three, six of them. So six trap tricks, again, about $40, we'll say, um, just to be safe. So already tons and tons of money on the table. Um, next is three pot of dualities from Astral Pack 5. These cards are definitely getting pricey now. Um, they're about $75 to $80 each. So definitely nice to have a play set there. And I still have so many cards to go through and we're already running out of room on the table. Then we have some Ultimate Tankies, also from Astral Pack. Those are getting pretty pricey as well. And this one I really liked. So these are first edition uh, Raging Battle 
Forbidden Chalices. These are mint. And uh, the mint copies go for, I think it was $40 each, so definitely nice. Definitely nice to see those. I haven't seen ultimate rares of those in good condition in a while, so. The next pile, we still have so much more to go through. Already running out of room. We have three ultimate rare OTS pack tins, so the brand new OTS pack. Thunder Dragon Colossus. These things are really, really expensive. I want to say like 70 to 80 bucks, so. Um, pretty crazy. So we have three of the ultimate rares, and then we do have one of the uh, about 25 to 30 dollars secret rares. But that one is unlimited. All right, and I did not properly plan. We are already out of room on the table. So I'll try and figure something out. Um, so Danger Suchinoko, the snake. These are about $50, give or take a few dollars. Um, and we have three of those. I'll just do a top row, even though you can't see it that well. Shift all of our pots downwards. Okay. Whew. Had to get the snakes on camera. And then we have three Danger Nessies. Another $50 card. Definitely getting pricey. Dangers is a very expensive deck right now. Or deck core. All right. I will fix those soon. We're already messing up the table. Okay. Next pile, Danger Jackalopes and Book Bigfoots, so the rest of the Danger Core. These are like 20 something and these are like 15 or so. Um, some $10 orchestrated returns. This has some potential in my opinion. So all play sets there. And then Herald of the Arc Lights. This card's shot up in price pretty decently since Dual Power released, uh, I believe because of Necros. So it's, I think it's about 12 or $13 now for the original, so not too bad. And then Urgent Schedule. This card's actually gone up a lot. Uh, I opened up quite a few boxes of this set and uh, pulled some of these. So if you want to check those videos out, go ahead. But uh, when I first started opening the boxes, it was like a $7 to $10 card. And now it's actually $21. So definitely gone up since then. All right. So we have one more stack of cards in the sleeves. And then we kind of go into some unsleeved stuff. So three anti-spells. These are Mint promos from a PCY, and uh, I was pretty surprised the near-mint copies on TCG Player right now are like 20 bucks, so it's getting a little expensive for those. And then we have the Black Dragon Clap Serpent Astral Packs, three of those, and three of the White Dragon Werver Busters. Those are all from the Astral Packs. Alright, so still have quite a few cards to go through. So we have a Necros of Valkyris. This is a, is that German? Yeah, German copy. Then we have Danger Thunderbirds, Thunder Dragon Darks, three of those. Thunder Dragon Roars, two of those. Jackal King Ultra Rares, four Ultra Rares. Dragon Hawks, Chronographs. Cards like four bucks now, four or five bucks, not too bad. Jesus Curries. Artifact Sanctums. These things are like six bucks now. Pretty crazy. I remember selling these for like a dollar when the set first released. So it's nice to see it finally going up. Uh, Danger Chupacabras, Called by the Grave, and Demise of the Land. Some commons that have really gone up in price recently. I think they're like three or four bucks each. Same with Called by the Grave. It's about three or four bucks. Okay, so that's about the main collection. I'll go ahead and do like one or two more stacks. Um, these sleeves are a little bit more messier and not part of the uh, main collection, so still some good stuff in here though. So if you want to stay tuned, check it out. Go ahead. So Skull Dread, it's unlimited, but from Expo, and then we have a Mega Pack one. We have another Thunder Dragon Colossus and a Vampire Sucker. Definitely like that artwork. Then we have some artifact size. These have gone up in price like a lot. They're like 10 or 12 bucks each. I think I even saw some that were like 15, just depending on what website you use. So those are definitely getting expensive. I did not realize they were that high. Um, and then evenly matched, we got three of those. Those are the Mega Packs. More Herald of the Arc Lights. We got Mega Pack ones. The other ones were the originals. Harpy's Feather Duster, Ebon Illusion Magician. 
this card's like eight bucks now, getting pretty crazy for, uh, I think it was a promo from a special edition or something like that. And then these are really cool. This is the uh, Speed Duel Yu-Gi-Oh! Day promo. So you got this from going to Yu-Gi-Oh! Day and uh, playing in the Speed Duel tournament. I think it, it might have been top eight. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, Yami Yugi, pretty cool. And uh, I think they're like seven or eight bucks each. So definitely a, a neat pickup. You know, a cool card to get. Some Twin Twisters, Necros, Hita is the super rare from OTS 10. Oracle of Zephyrus, these have gone up in price a little bit. Goblin Zombie, pretty cool old secret rare. Uh, Ledger of Ledgerman, this used to be, I remember I had this listed for like 75 cents and uh, then a buyout happened and I had to sell all my copies and uh, then it shot up to like $7 but now it's stabilized at like 3 or 4 bucks. so not too much of a loss but I definitely still sold them to those customers. But uh, yeah, still... Excited to get some more back in my inventory now, now that the uh, buyout has happened and it's kind of stabilized. Uh, Necroz of Bryonyx, Summon Limits, pretty expensive common. There can be only one, Minerva, Magician of Chaos, Change of Heart, Secret Rare from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Crackdown from Dark Neostorm. And uh, some other stuff, Droll and Lockbird and Sunlight Wolves. Alright, so we are nearing the end of this video. Again, this was a $3,000 Yu-Gi-Oh! collection, so very, very crazy. As you can see from just what I could fit in the camera view, it's quite a bit of cards and uh, some really good value. So. Um, it also came with a bunch of these Lost Art promos. So a bunch of the Lost Art Call, the Haunted, still sealed in the wrappers, except for one. One of them is open, so. And it also came with a right arm of the Forbidden One Lost Art. Pretty cool to get some Lost Art promos. So the guy definitely bought a lot of packs if he had that many Lost Art promos. <sighs> okay guys, so I will do one last stack. This stack is a little messy, but uh, we will power through it real quick and then I will end the video. Uh, I wish I could show you guys everything, but it would be like an hour long video. So I'll just show you one more stack and then we'll call it there. So we got Ultimate Rare Necroz of Sophia, Fogblade, Ghost Reaper, Firewall Dragon, some Necroz, Trishula, oh, camera, okay, Dark Magician, Alchemic, uh, Shirinui, Moral Text, Jackal Kings, actually those, yeah, there's a ton of Jackal Kings, this guy's like three bucks now, pretty crazy for the super rare. And uh, yeah, Double Summons, Desires. This has gone down in price a lot since it got printed as a common. I remember they used to sell these at five bucks each all day long. And uh, now it's only like two bucks for the Ultra Rares, so. Kind of sad. Mystic Mine, another Dark Neo Storm. That card sure is getting a lot of hype or hate, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then a ton of the pre-release promos. So definitely, he must have entered the pre-release uh, quite a few times, or traded for them, or I don't really know how he got that many, so pretty crazy. Um, and that's the Dark Neostorm pre-release card. Sekka's Light, Banshee, Quintet Magician, Security Dragon, Metamorphosis, Reproducus, Le Link Kribo, Natria Beast, Ultimate Dragon, and Incantations. So that is it for this video. Um, again, just so much value. I mean, look at all these pot of extravagances. I mean, that is crazy, crazy, crazy. Awesome stuff. So, nine pots, four phantasmes, six trap tricks. I mean, this collection just had a so, mu so much meta-relevant value. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this collection. Let me know what your favorite card was from the video. And uh, if you have any questions or if you want to sell a Yu-Gi-Oh! collection, just shoot me an email. All the info's in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, by the time you see this video, all these cards will have been posted on my TCG player. Um, I might keep a few. I might keep the Ghost Rares for myself and uh, a couple other cards to add to my collection. But the rest of it will be posted by the time you see this video. So go ahead and check that out. The link is also in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.